it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the Dandy Day stamp set from Lawn Fawn. So I have stamped out the images I'll be using with black licorice ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm coloring with my Copic markers. And I'm starting with E40 and E41 for the little mice, just doing some basic shading. And then I'm going to go in and add some more details with some brown shades. I'm using E31, E33, and E35. I started with the E35 down the back side of this little mouse on the left and laid in some shadows and then I'm blending that out with the E33 and I'm kind of just going wherever the markers take me. I don't really have a plan necessarily in place. So I'm going to come in now with my lightest shade of these colors which is that E31 and for this little guy I'm going to color and leave a little white patch over his nose and mouth and I'm also going to leave his little um, hands and feet white as well. The second mouse I'm coloring very much the same. I just am shifting the shadows to the opposite side since he's facing in the opposite direction and I wanted the sun to land on his face so that would be nice and light. So I'm just putting my shadows down on the right side Again, I'm going to leave his little feet and I think just one paw on this guy and do similar uh, brown patches on his face, just leaving the nose and mouth area uh, white. And originally I had thought to leave his ear on the far side white, but I thought it just ended up looking like I'd forgotten it. So I am going to go back and color that in with the browns later on. Now on this third mouse, I wanted him to be a little bit different. So I am going to color just one of his ears brown, but this time I'm not going to color the brown patch on his face like the other ones. I'm just going to do a ring around his eye. I'm also going to do a patch down his back and another one kind of wrapping around onto the left side there by his leg. So just having a little bit more personalities, having some differences between them kind of sets them apart a bit. I did bring in the E40 to just help those areas blend into the white. And then I'm going to use the R11 and R12 to color in their ears and noses and their feet. So I just used a little of the R12 first and then blend that out with the R11. And I did take a little of just the R11 and added it to the shading on their bellies as well, just so they had a little bit of a flesh tone to them. For my greens, I'm using G24, G28, and G29. So I started by putting some G29 in the crease between the two dandelion leaves and then I blended that out with the G28. For some reason my G28 was looking darker than the G29. I did double check and make sure it was the right marker and it was. So I'm actually going to reverse these for the rest of the images. I'll be using the G28 as my darkest and then blending out with the G29 and then the G24. I'm not really sure why those are showing up differently than they're supposed to, um, but anyway. So I finished coloring in all the rest of the stems and leaves, just putting the darkest color down at the bottom of the stem and blending upward. And eventually I just stopped using the G29 completely on those stems because it really only needed the two colors. And then for the yellows, I'm bringing in Y13, Y15, and Y17, and uh, just doing some light shading in a feathering motion, starting at the base of the petals and blending upward, and then just coloring in the centers of the ones that have gone to seed as well. For the little strands of dandelion fluff, I'm using BG11, and I'm just quickly drawing right over the line and the ends there, just doing kind of like a long line and then a little dash, real quick and easy. It just adds a little bit of color to them. 
kind of lifts them off the page a bit. Then I took a black Sakura jelly roll marker and went over the eyes of the mice. And then I trimmed these images out with their matching dies. So for the background, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. Instead of the traditional blue, I wanted to do a yellow sky. Maybe it's like sunrise or something like that. So I'm taking the Lawn Fawn Cloudy Stencil and some Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide ink. And I'm blending that onto a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface paper, which is my favorite paper for um, ink blending. And I'm going to just go down the panel until I've filled it with enough clouds and then add a little bit of color down at the bottom as well so it's not so stark white. Then I'm also going to dab a little bit of that onto my work surface and water that down. I'll pick that up with a thin paintbrush and do some little splatter detail in the background. I also wanted to have a little bit of shimmer on this card, so I'm taking some liquid stardust and I'm going to shake that up real good. I'm also going to squeeze a little bit of that out onto my work surface and pick that up with the paintbrush and splatter that across my panel as well. Then I will set this panel aside to dry. Once it has dried completely, I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine with the large stitch rectangle stackables so I can get that nice stitching detail at the top. And then I'm going to run it again with the stitch party banner die. And that way I can get that same flag shape, but the stitching detail will go all the way around the outside edge. I also did the same with a piece of noble fur cardstock and then use the grassy border on the top edge and I'm going to glue that down to that panel. My Lawn Fawn glue tube is uh, running dry, so I had to switch to uh, my Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and then I'm just going to adhere that grassy panel down at the bottom of the flag. I'm going to make sure that that is lined up nice and straight before that glue dries, and then I'll pop it in my Misty so I can stamp my sentiment. I'm using black licorice ink, which is the same ink I used to stamp my images. And I'm doing the Have a Dandy Day. And I'm also doing a few of those little dandelion wish uh, seeds up at the top too, kind of floating in the breeze. Then I can pop my card base on my Misty so that I can stamp on the inside. And I'll be doing that with sunflower ink. And this time I'm going to stamp the mother and baby mouse with another dandelion and the sentiment that says, I think you're dandy and I'm not lion, which is so cute and punny. So I stamped that down several times to get a good impression. And now I can go back to my focal panel and begin to create my scene by adhering my images. And I'm going to use liquid glue to keep this card pretty flat. I will be using one layer of foam tape later on, but I wanted to make sure that this was easy for mailing. So I added the little mouse uh, up at the top with liquid glue because the breeze has kind of caught him and he's being lifted up in the air. And then this little mouse that's kind of blowing, I'm going to give him like the uh, half dandelion that's still intact with the little seeds blowing up into the breeze from that flower. And then I have the third little mouse that's going to go over on the left. And then for the rest of the scene, I'm just going to start to grab some of these images and adhere them here and there and kind of create the scene and fill in all the space. So I'm tucking one of the little clusters of leaves right behind that mouse and I'm going to give the um, little yellow dandelion uh, that space there and then I'm going to pair it with one of the ones that have gone to seed. And then the other dandelion leaf cluster is going to go over on the right hand side and I'm going to give it the other little yellow leaf so that it's kind of balanced there, one on the left and one on the right. I had to fiddle a little bit with the placement to make sure that I had it where I wanted it. 
The pattern paper I'm using today is the Dandy Day collection and the Perfectly Plaid Spring collection. So I've got a piece of plaid um, that I'm going to put over top of this yellow dandelion print. I've glued that down together and then I'm running it back through with that same die that I used earlier, the large stitch rectangle stackables. So I have that nice stitching detail all along the outside edge of both pieces and I'm going to adhere that to the front of my card base. So that's going to cover the entire front of the card. And I can grab my focal panel, which I've added some strips of foam tape to the back of. I'll just peel off those release papers and I'm going to line it up a little bit more to the left um, just for something different. As a final embellishment and to kind of tie in with that little bit of sparkle that we added to the background with the liquid stardust, I'm going to use some stardust stickles and I'm going to add it to the centers of the dandelions and then to all of the ends of the dandelion seeds, both on the stamped flowers and on the seeds that are kind of blowing in the breeze there. So just a quick little dot there on the tips. And that is going to complete my card for today. I will lift that up and tip it into the light so you can see all that pretty sparkle and shine and give you another peek at the inside. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have your support. You can also ring that notification bell if you want to be sure that my videos always end up in your feed. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought might also interest you. So you can click on either one of those to check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye-bye.